Hello, it's a Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. This time I've got two replays for you in a tier 9 American tank destroyer, the T95, aka the Doom Turtle. Now this is a tank which, I'm going to be honest, I don't play a lot because it can be extremely frustrating to play because it's incredibly slow, incredibly big and you can get slapped by the fun police and it can be frustrating uh, it's one of those tanks which you know one in five games you can have a really good game uh, but then the other four you're trying to chase the damage you're getting hit by artillery and it can be a little bit painful at times uh, but we're here platooned up with swindle in the cobra and we're on melee there is a fun police in the game and a light tank in the game and at the start you can see i'm trying to get a shot on this light tank on this amex 13 105 because i want to try and get into this bush where swindle is now because Swindle's going to push across and spot and i'm hoping that if i can get in the bush <laughs> Uh, I can stay safe and not get slapped by the RT, which does happen to Swindle, which almost certainly will happen it will happen to me if I get spotted at the start of the game. So this is why I want to try and kill this light tank, because if I can kill the light tank, that's going to help out you know, enormously with that. We managed to slap in one on the move, because it does have APCR round, uh, so you've got a quick velocity, and the gun is fantastic. I mean, that... That's why you, you would you know you would put up with the pain of playing this tank is because it has a fantastic gun you know 750 alpha uh, 320 pen on the APCR the gun is awesome you know it's got really good DPM uh, but it's the rest of the tank you know yes it does have armor but that you know is it's not going to help you is it from the you know from the sky let's be honest with you look at that big tasty engine jack the here R2 has got to shoot at it's probably the easiest tank in the game really to, to hit with artillery because once you, you, you're spotted you're not going anywhere so at the moment this light tank is pushing sight and it is a one shot to me as long as i don't low roll and i've just got to take this gamble and take him out now whilst you know size is going to be in a you know swindle so he's going to be in a lot of trouble um and we do manage to fin finish off the light tank uh and we you know pick up our you know first kill second penetration we actually take that light tank out for all of his hit points but i am spotted now so i'm trying to pull back to lose my spot thankfully i i have done that it looks like my enemy sorry my friendly team has all gone down the one two line so that has left the hill unprotected but as long as you know our friendly team win the one two line at least i'm not going to have to worry about getting shot on the side so i need them to hurry up and do that because then you know at least i'm in probably in a good position to be to shoot the enemy team as they leave the hill um, and yeah let's face it I'm not going to go um, you know zooming around the map at this point I've kind of made my bed at this point and it's probably a good position to be in and thankfully in this game shots are appearing you've got one in the Waffle 100 there uh, and just because it does have a decent reload I may actually be able to get another shot into this Waffle before we get safe if I had the HE, I, I could do some serious damage to them because it's got 950 alpha on the HE round. But I didn't swap to that. Um, but And I did manage to get another penetration though. And then this Bajetto 65 uh, is appeared. It looks like it's dumping this clip. Can I just get one in? I'm hoping I'll squeeze one in. The Bajetto actually crashes into the wolf, um, which is good for me because that's put me up to 4,000 damage. Um, and we actually picked up a little bit of assistance there as well. Our friendly team has now kind of almost you know well they're kind of clearing out the one two so now i don't have to concern myself with getting shot um from from behind so i can sort of pay my attention to focus this hill because i'm kind of you know i know there's at least like three tanks up there so i'm fully expecting them to come off that hill at some point but because our friendly team has pushed so far up the one two they are actually coming back now to defend um so that's kind of split them up a little bit this Royal Jonte actually comes off the hill. I don't have a clear shot, but it looks like he's actually taking some real punishment there and gets clipped out by the Waffle Wee 100 and our friendly team. Um, and now this object 268-5 appears and I get a shot into him, which is great. This is kind of the scenario you want, really, isn't it? I haven't had to move that far. Yes, it's a big map, but I've managed to pretty much stay 
um, in a location where I'm able to farm. I get the kill on the uh, floor. Uh, unfortunately, he's already took a hit as he went in there, uh, so I don't get a lot of damage, but I do pick up the kill. Now, at this point, I'm just hoping, really, that uh, this Amex 50p is going to present it's a shot to me but then i see the chieftain and i get that one about fully aiming and puts me up to 5000 uh you know 500 damage like i say this sometimes so this is a this is probably a scenario you do want in a t95 something where you can stay in these bushes you like say got good camo um i think i've got like 259 concealment with the camo net on uh so i can sort of stay unspotted i've got all the like the you know muffle shot etc on the the perks because you do want that with while playing the t95 uh, and I'm just hoping to get another shot in uh, because I can't chase the damage. The time it takes me to get the hill, they probably will be dead. So I'm just really at this point just just, just praying that they're going to expose themselves to look for a shot, um, and then I can get that you know that that killing because it looks like you know at this stage it's 11 versus four. We're going to win the game. I'm never going to get over to that one two in the in time before we're you know, dead. Um, so I'm just sort of hanging on and, and hoping. So I know there is a sewer tank on there, the Amex 50B. Uh, I'm just praying that they're going to present. So I get one last shot of damage to get over to 6k mark would be nice. Um, uh, this light that's going in, at this point I've almost given up hope and thinking, oh, they're probably not going to go. But I think, oh, no, just maybe, just maybe this 50B is going to present itself. Need to hit this shot, I'm not going to have another chance at it. And I do get one in, put, you know, which is great, putting us over to 6,000. And now we're going to stumble along to try and find the rest of the team. So what I'm going to do is rather than leave you uh, me rambling on, I'm going to let you listen to a bit of music and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that brings us an end to the first replay. We get 6k damage, 4 kills, 500 assistance, and we get the ace tanker and the high calibre. Uh, but we still have one more replay to come, so I will see you over there in a little bit. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I'm not sure, sure what happened there with that interference there. Um, but anyway, uh, on to the second replay. Uh, this time we are on Sunset Coast. It is a tier 10 lobby. Uh, this is an older replay I had saved up. There is one fun police, uh, two enemy light tanks uh, to concern ourselves with. But there is no cap circle. It's a team destruction, so at least we don't have to worry about being capped out. Now, we do get a little bit more involved in this game. Uh, as in sense, you know, we do actually get spotted and, and, and we can use our armour a little bit. Uh, but at the start, we're going to try and get to a position, you know, where we can play as a tank destroyer and, and use our camo to our advantage uh, and see if we can get any uh, damage, basically. We know there's going to be a few things, you know, crossing down this line in front of us, down the sort of JK line, if you like. Um, and we're going to look to see where we can uh you know get get shots unfortunately it takes a while to get into position in this t95 and like i say i've had countless times where i've just been driving around uh but i managed to get a shot into that dragon to start and it always helps your game when you get that nice early damage uh yeah just, just helps relax but i say it's part of the parcel with a t95 unfortunately sometimes in certain situations you can just be trying to chase the damage keep up with the damage and it's really a fast paced game although you've got such a fantastic gun you can struggle just to get there um, i mean it, it is a, a tank which can actually 
play well sometimes on even Himmelsdorf and stuff, even in the smaller maps, uh, just because you do have armour to utilise. But like, like I say, it is you know, if something gets behind you, you're going to be, it's going to cause you all sorts of bother. Uh, we get a lovely shot into that Hawk 30, tracking him in place and actually picking up um, basically full hit points. We get a damage in and then we get <clears throat> a little bit of assistance. We got a shot onto the Charioteer uh, and that's puts us onto 2,000 damage. So already at the start of the game, you know, we've had a decent start. It's gone well, isn't it? And we then got an opportunity to shoot the Emil, but it gets absolutely destroyed by our friendly uh, Turan and Chisel. Um, we're both sort of kind of using the same uh, position here, but thankfully we do, you know, we both have cover. So I'm trying to back up because it looks like the enemy team are kind of pushing around the right, um, and I may need to try and get some shots into this Type 5. Unfortunately, that one doesn't pen. We could have waited a little while and actually aimed at a better shot. Um, because I'll say we do still have decent penetration. Um, obviously, we are going to lose. Or we have 320 pen, which is great. Um, on the APCR, we are going to lose a lot on the drop off um, over distance. But we get a nice one into a side, putting us onto just uh, under 3,000 damage. And it's a pretty even game. It's, it's 9 versus 9. Uh, he doesn't stay that way for long, but at the start of the game, it is looking, um, you know, it's pretty close, you know, so we need to try and keep our tank in the game and keep getting these hit points in where we can. Unfortunately, we bounce another one off the Type 5, which is a shame, um, because that's that's two, you know, big shots of damage we've missed out on there on, on an important tank. Um, but this Charioteer pokes around, get a lovely shot in, um, picking up another kill and a little bit of damage on the hit points he did have uh, on his tank. Um, and I'm just keeping an eye every now and again down uh, the sort of the J, uh, K, uh, sort of one two area, <clears throat> uh, because uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that if they lose that side, obviously I'm going to be in a bit of problem because if they push down that water road, uh, they're going to have side on shots for me, and I'm going to have to think about relocating, putting myself in a little bit of a uh, different position. Uh, but at the moment, I don't really want to move because from this location, I can get shots um, on both sides. Uh, so I want to stay here for as long as I possibly can. But it, this game's starting to slip away from us a little bit. You know, the, the, the enemy team's now got a two-tank uh, lead, and now it's suddenly you know gone to a, a three-six. So it is we are up against it now, and we have lost that you know bit down the water. And I can't stay where I am because if I do any longer, I'm not going to have enough time to escape. And it's going to be a sure thing that I'm going to get killed. I'll get lit up by artillery there. Easy, easy shot. Um, and it's, it's just going to be an awkward situation. So I need to escape, but I'm not going to turn around because I don't have enough time. And I need to be presenting my armour towards the enemy. Otherwise, I won't escape because obviously you're going to easily be able to penetrate this tank from the rear. So we do bounce a couple of shots there. We actually bounce one off the E4. I'm trying to uh, wiggle a little bit to present my armour. And we then bounce another one off of the grill, which is, is, is great. So we've got about 2k there. Uh, we keep trying to wiggle to try and keep ourselves uh, in the game. We do then get penetrated by the E4. <clears throat> and yeah, that, that's put us down onto 810 hit points. I'm trying to get out of there. But as I say, I am slow. So I eat one there, trying to escape. But I didn't want to sit there, you know, just waiting to get killed uh, by the E4. So I need to try and put myself in a better situation. It's a three versus five. We know where, we know two of the enemy tanks uh, are down this line here, uh, and the rest of the tanks, are, you know, I believe, are on the other side. Now this would be a big kill. We could have took out that 705 there. Unfortunately, we don't. Maybe we could aim it longer, but I suspected he was going to get back into cover, so we tried to snap that one in. It doesn't pay off, um, but yeah, I'm in an awkward situation. I mean, look, I can see there's a medium to the right, but he's fighting an E100 in the TD. So I'm, sus you know, I suspect we're gonna they're gonna win that engagement, uh, and I could just keep help fighting down the uh, the waterfront in that that lake. Um, but now I've been lit there too long, and it's only a matter of time till fun police start shooting at me. So I'm gonna try and get to a position where I'm a little bit safe, and see if I can put myself <clears throat> in a location where. I'm close enough to a wall that I can try and get back into it because obviously if a enemy light tank, enemy medium tank or any tank as such gets behind you in this tank, obviously being as slow as you are and obviously turret facing, then you are, you know, you just it's a sure thing that you're going to be killed because once they've got behind there's not a lot you can do to stop them um, path and, you know, just push them into the wall. Obviously if they track you in place, 
uh, you're gonna be in an awkward situation. So I'm trying to stay patient, trying to get into a location where it's harder for the uh, fun police to shoot me, uh, and also that I've got a little bit of cover. So I can see that where our <clears throat> friendly fun police is dead, it's giving us a bit of a useful wreck here, because that obviously cuts off enemy team coming around. But at this point, I'm suspecting the 705 would have hoped, you know, you would suspect that they're gonna be making their approach towards me. So I'll keep monitoring that side because um, with the 705 being a one shot, which is now coming round, uh, he's poked up too high, showed his lower plate, and we take out that kill. But as I did that, the light you know, tank chooses his time to, to come in. Now, I, he makes a mistake here. I don't know why he didn't go straight, straight behind me. And I've actually allowed me to to get my, my turret to the, you know, my, my rear of my tank to the wall and I get a shot in um, and actually, <clears throat> yeah, I, I probably could have died there but thankfully I didn't. Now, that is actually going to be it for this replay because I'm going to be honest with you, this is where it comes from the T95 situation and I try and get the rest of the da you know, damage and I can't quite get there. So I'm not going to bore you, uh, you know, wasting your time with me chasing these tanks. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and I'll see you uh, in the results screen. Okay, so that brings us to an end to the video, um, but let's just see how we got on. Uh, we picked up 6,000 damage, 2 kills, 1,000 assistance, and 3k blocked. Um, and yeah, I am actually on holiday at the moment, just to let you know, so if I don't respond to your comments straight away, uh, don't worry, when I return, I will respond to them. But I've updated, uploaded enough videos for the week to make sure I get my regular content out for you guys. Uh, and I really appreciate, as always, your support. It means a lot. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy tanking. Enemy in sight.